comments. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning to everybody out there. Jason here at Signature Esports, and a pleasure it is to have you live at a charge. We're having some some connection issues. I'm not quite sure what's going on, so I appreciate everybody being out there. We are dropping frames like crazy, and I don't have a remote clue of what's going on. So uh, hopefully it'll fix itself. Hopefully it'll it'll situate itself because uh, it's uh, it's kind of concerning for me right now. Uh, we are uh, live for Indianapolis. We're going to continue to uh, do what we got to do here and continue to go. Matt is going to be your pole sitter here today for Indianapolis uh, in this uh, this uh, this week nine affair. It's going to be awesome. Bryce Cobbler is going to be the outside pole sitter. Derek Wegman, Nathan Bigard are going to make up road number two. Michael Strickland, Robert Church going to be their road number three. Uh, row four is going to be i think we're having an issue on the the restream side of things here folks because i am literally tanking f uh tanking internet right now so not quite sure what's going on but uh we'll we'll look at it we'll continue to try to look at it uh we i not a clue not a clue we're losing frames like crazy so uh we'll keep it up and we'll keep doing what we got to do if i have to i will of course and always stream this again uh restream it so that way we can we can make sure we're doing what we're doing and doing what we're supposed to be doing um anywho uh yeah so i'm not quite sure uh strickland church uh steiner jeff dillon russell black joshua siegfried gonna make up uh, the next two rows alonzo king jerry culver there in row number six uh row seven as we go down to it Will be John Hammond, Jonathan Case, Beer, Ryan Went, uh, Brock Duty are going to make up row number eight. Row nine is going to be Grant Altizer, Clint Hackett. Row ten is going to be Brad Dove and Mark Retchen. Caffrey, Tony Sanders going to make up the next row. Uh, Adam Dama is going to be out there as well. Chris Roberge uh, in uh, row 12 will go down continue to push. Danny May, Phil Caffrey going to make up the final rows here as they put in the energy and the effort and all the cool things that they're doing. Thank you to everybody for being out there. I'm just not sure why we're dropping frames. Um, it's kind of crazy because I'm seeing my internet speeds go up and down. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely not something that I'm used to and not something that I want to see. We do have, I believe the driver cams, Mr. Van Ness. Thank you very much for the like out there. I do believe we have some driver cams. We still do have some driver cams. Uh, just got home. Uh, good to see everybody. Your, uh, your pole sitter is uh, brought to you by Stay Tuned Sports. So thank you to Stay Tuned for being out there. Check out their YouTube platform. And also you can find them on Spotify. I encourage you to do so because, uh, well, they have a pretty darn bang up uh, podcast that we follow each and every week. We love to see them. Thank you to Stay Tuned for being on board. You're going to see their logo a lot uh, tonight as they go. Make sure that uh, you go and check them out and find uh, all the cool the coolness that these drivers are going to be able to do. They're going to get ready to go green flag racing. Here's Mr. Culver and all the cool things he's got going on back here. Drivers are ready. I'm ready. We're going to go green flag racing right here. Yeah, you're in the right place, Darren. Alex, thank you for liking the share. Much love to you. And uh, if there is anything uh, going on uh, with, the, uh, with the internet out there as far as the connection goes, I do apologize, folks. This thing is uh, skipping around and not missing a beat uh, to the point that I'm not even live on TikTok right now because I don't have any of that up. Gobbler, Matta, Big Art's going to be your front three as they go to push. Matta to the inside right here of the 99. 99 with Big Art to the outside. Turn three. Big track here. Race information is going to be 90 laps. Matta back uh, on the inside as the 01 tries to take the outside here. Matta side by side into turn four. It's going to be able to clear the 01. As now the 99 works. Here's a race information as they complete lap one. Oh, the wreck at back air. We'll take a look and see what happened. As uh, stay tuned, sports logo pops up on your screen. Alonso King, a, a part of that as well. Two and a half mile length track, 101 degrees for the track temperature ball status. BMB Music Admin Box, part of the platform here. 90 laps uh, stage. Uh, Going to be completion of lap 27. They do have four sets of tires, no fast repair. That's three sets of tires on pit road. Uh, as they would look, Alonso King having an issue here. Let's take a look. 80 was down. Oh, hmm. That was a 62. I want to say that the, oh, and then the 28 of Clint Hackett right there. It's no bueno. So I want to say, I know Alonso was uh, there to the outside. 
Alonso King here in the 80. He was running down. He had a good lane. Break from the 62. Little free. Oh. Nobody touched there. I don't know if that was net code or what. That freed up the 62 on the bottom side. I think that was the 62. Yeah, it was Jeff Dillon. He looks fine, though. We'll see if they go to pit road. Alonso King has to tow. Unfortunate for that driver. All the cool things uh, would come to play, and can't believe that the, the stream is doing what, it, what it's doing. So, um, again, apologies to everybody out there when it comes to whatever the frames are doing and whatever whatever the, the stream is doing. I'm literally trying to tank as much as I can here. We're just we're having an internet issue here. I don't know what it is. Down to twenty one hundred, so our CPU usage is fine. Everything else should be fine. It's, uh, it's just kind of crazy. So figure out what's going on up. I'm gonna pause for the vocals here while these drivers do their thing. They're gonna pace around here. We'll check on what these drivers are doing. Uh, again, apologies to everybody out there. I I'm not one to like issues like this. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with our internet speeds. Our internet speeds are are pretty are are normally pretty good. So and I'm doing a little test right now. So bear with me. Oh, we are having an issue. We are having we are having an issue. So our upload speeds are are pretty tanked right now so this might be a charter thing so bear with me i'm gonna find out right back
All right, folks. Yeah, we're we're just uh, experiencing uh, a little bit of a down issue right now. Our internet uh, is uh, is having an issue, so I do apologize to everybody out there. Hopefully, everybody can uh, enjoy their night, and we're going to continue to push and do what we got to do. Here is uh, what's going on. I'm going to continue to call the race. If it turns out to be bad or anything like that, I'll just recall this race tomorrow. Uh, I can still see the track, and I can still see what's going on, but the uh, my upload is. Uh, it's just terrible right now. So I do, I do again, apologize to the league and apologize to everybody out there. Bryce Cobbler is going to be your race leader here. Matt is going to be in second. Wegman in third. Big Art's going to be in fourth. Here's uh, Mr. Church is going to be up inside the top five. Sider's going to be in seventh here. Ooh, the Australian or New Zealander here. Going to have the 85 of Joshua Siegfried behind him. John Hammond up four here for the drivers. They push forward. Number eight car. Gonna have a good race. Cobbler just ran a 51.95 last time by, so we'll see if he's gonna be able to hold on to that. 3,841 on the I rating for the 99. He is uh, trying to dominate here. That's one of the, uh, the the race lines that you see. There's Wegman in the 39. The 1931 I rated driver holds on. And with the most wins on the series, holds on right here is the 01. Putting in some energy, putting in some time. Love to see it. Check in with all the drivers. Roberge down here at the bottom side. I like seeing our Chris Roberge moments. The nicest Canadian you're going to be. No internet issue for you. Amanda, much love to you, dear. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I, I thank you very much. I gotta pull up chat. Chat's uh, chat's not showed up on the main screen, and uh, that's that's a shame for me there. So, do apologize uh, once again, and uh, put it up there. Put it up there. Stop buying my internet from Timu. You ain't lying. Uh, we bought it uh, from Charter. Charter Spectrum. I'm supposed to have the. Best package that uh, that they they offer just to be able to do this, and you know, every once in a while you just can't uh, can't deal with it, can't deal with it. Right now it's uploading at uh, it's it fluctuates it's fluctuating badly. I have three uh, thousand thirty two hundred drop frames right now, so hopefully this thing does its it does its. Uh, as long as you folks can see it, that's what matters. That's what matters to me. So make sure you guys uh, tune in and and uh, and cheer on your drivers. I appreciate you as always. There's the seven of Tony Sand. Oh, up into the wall. All Tizer recollects. There's the 12. Danny May rolling up seven. Biggest move of the race is going to be Roberge and Mark Retchen right now, the Jefferson City friend. Much love, Amanda. I appreciate it. Amanda, where are you guys located at again? You guys are on the East Coast. If I remember correctly. Amanda trying to close down the distance here to Bryce Cobbler. A lot happening on this racetrack. Here is uh, your race leader, one and a quarter second here to Mata, who is right there, right behind Derek Wegman, trying to close in. Ethan Big Art's going to be there in that uh, second spot. Stage going to end at the completion of lap 27 here for him, folks. And we appreciate that. Thank you to, okay, stay tuned, sports. I know there's a, the link in the description. I had to re redo everything. Yes, Spectrum. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh, Air Striker, he's uh, rolling in fifth. I love him, I really do. And they, and just the last time we had this issue, we uh, we had to replace a lot of equipment. Mark Reschen inside the top ten. And around Jonathan Casebeer back here. Casebeer up on the high side as Ryan went to the bottom side. Went got a little Toyota action, a big push. Baji, thank you very much. You guys are in Charlotte. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Baji. I appreciate you. I know that uh, we uh, try to do do our do ourselves some justice. Uh, I know that our our drop frames. Uh, we we that that's that's a big plan. That is a big plan to come visit you guys. All right? Can I show you guys the? I think I can. Hold on. There it is there. Oh, now now it's working. We might get it back. Hold on. Hold on. We might get this back. 
Hold on. Nope. <laughs> it's dropping again. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Come see the 600 with, uh, with you guys in the suite. We would love that. Brook 600 would be absolutely amazing. Um... Anywho, I'm 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 just I'm getting frustrated with it, with it, with uh, this at this particular point. Let's just have some fun, call a good race because they they're out there having a good time. That first caution, uh, I believe, was just a little bit of net code that freed up uh, the driver underneath um, Alonso King, and then just made 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 a heck of an issue for him. Uh, and took him out of the race, took a couple of drivers out of the race, and Alonso was out there as well. Much love to him. Right, that's that's something that uh, we were talking about. I know we're supposed to be going to worldwide on June second, but uh, it depends on what her because she's supposed to have surgery on June third. Uh and if she has surgery on June third, then it might be a thing. Matt at one and a quarter, trying to close back in. Big Art, uh, usually one of the faster drivers out here. You see, pushing. Let's see if he's going to have a little bit of tire saving added here as they continue to push and continue to move on. Stay tuned. Sports, the sponsors of the pole sitter here. That was Michael Matta. I believe Matta was the. Yeah, I think so. I wish you were out here too, man. You got to get out of here. We got to hear and run. Cobbler. We'll do, Amanda. We'll do. Get you and uh, the Bunnell family. Go Dama, 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 Mike Lama, but Dama. He's right here. He's up three. <laughs> See, this is the reason why I do this, okay? <laughs> exactly the reason why I do this. Oh, man. I mean... <laughs> exactly the reason why I do this. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is the paint scheme of the year so far. So you know, with with what we what we've seen in retrospect. Right? Yeah. I can. I mean. We took a screenshot of that. Ah. <laughs> the reason why we do what we do, and that is the reason why we do what we do there. So, again, thank you, everybody, for being out there. Much love to you. Cobbler's going to be your race leader. Uh, Wegman's going to be in second. Matt drops back to third, but a tight little battle here for second as uh, Cobbler goes uh, and extends the lead by two seconds. Big Art's trying to be trying to push the inside. 16 is going to be trying to defend the defend the race line. Ooh, baby. Mike doing a phenomenal job here. That's all you can do. Make the best of it. That's how you uh, uh you know, and and I tell you what, it's it's frustrating. It's not P, it's not even a PC issue right now. It's uh it's literally charter. I mean, we didn't have an issue yesterday, um, and it's a Friday night, and, you know, the internet usage is uh, is pretty high throughout the area, of course. That's just, that's kind of how you have to look at it. When you're, when you're here on a weekend, those are the, those are the things that you, you have to remember. Friday night internet usage is big, but we pay literally $240 a month for an pa uh, internet package that is supposed to be delivering. And, uh, you know, uh, a, th uh, a gig down and, you know, whatever it is, uh, the 100 meg up. It's just, it's just, I'm literally getting nine up. It's, cr it's crazy. So we're still dropping frames. We're still having issues, but uh, we're going to continue to push. That's what we got to do. I don't care. Church behind uh, Mr. Hammond here. Hammond about to move forward. He was, he's, uh, he's up six. Crested the inside, uh, crested the top 10 and has continued to push forward. 
And some uh, some good laps going for him right now. 52.65, faster than the leaders. Uh, faster than everybody in front of him. He and Church actually carrying good speed. We'll see what they get this time. This time by still faster than the leaders. Big Art uh, 52.97, his last lap. Two and a half second uh, lap difference here. Wegman trying to hold on to what this race line is going to be doing. We'll see if uh, if uh, Bryce is going to be able to continue to push for the next eight laps. 100% fuel for the driver, so that does uh, that, that makes all the difference. Here's Ryan Went. It's going to be side by side with David Steiner in the 63. Sorry, not Steiner. That's Mark Retchen in the 24. Let's go ahead with three to the back bumper. Here's Jonathan Casebeer goes to work to the inside. Twenty-four extends. If Case Beer slides up here, he is gonna do like that chop chop uh, brand right there. Thank you to all of our fine folks. Oh baby, they're wrecking. Oh, they're not done yet. Hold on to it, Jerry Culver. Thirteen was there to the inside. Jonathan Case Beer behind. Whoa, baby, here's what happened. Thirteen was there. Oh, side draft, side draft, side draft. Oh, just got into each other. What a great save by both the drivers. Man. Now well, they're fine. They're fine. Russell Black back here is our D2 camp. Here he goes. Russell, 62 over the back bumper. Jeff Dillon behind him. He is holding on for dear life. I like that guy's setup. I'm just saying. I like his setup. There's Brad Dove. The Dove maniac. The Doveness. Sir Dove. Off one, still running. Up on the wheel. Michael Caffrey behind him. 22 of 90 being completed. The You Got Dove Special. There's Jerry Culver. Sits in 13th right now. Right behind the back bumper of Mark Retchen. This car's really not that hurt. A little bit of right side scrapes, but uh, he seems to be doing just fine. B on the back bumper. I think he's trying to just save some for the long haul here. Five laps to go to the stage this time by. As they get to work. And how about Roberge up 13? Just about to crest the top 10. He's in 11th. And that Ford continue to move and try to progress and get a little bit more Culver to the inside of Mark Retchen here. Cobbler to Big Art. Big Art closing in. Three tenths of a second difference here. Can he close in and, and try to take this stage? Bryce Cobbler. Still leads here. The two 3,000 I rated drivers inside the top five make that three. Here is uh, the 3465 of Michael Strickland. Siegfried's going to be in sixth. Church in seventh. Steiner's going to be in eighth. John Hammond in ninth. Ryan Wentz is going to be in tenth. Budgie is out there in all the uh, chat glory. Thank you to everybody for being out there. And, uh, I do apologize once again. I know we lost quite a bit of views in the early going because I had to switch streams. So, again, apologies to, to the field and to the fam and to everybody out there. That's why I said try to find yourselves over into the next uh, the next race. I always want to make sure that uh, we, we take care of the league and take care of what folks are having to go through. Um, I'm not I'm not all that happy with, uh, with, with the way things like that progress, but... If I have to make a new replay and send it out, I will do it. Even if I have to make a, a recap video with it, uh, I'll do that as well. Try to get on TikTok. Uh, well, we are on TikTok. I'm just having issues with it. Messaging. 
friends and moderators all over and we already we're already able to go live on tiktok and, and i encourage you to follow us over there i was going to be alive on tiktok tonight uh but uh, this internet issue is going to keep us from doing that so uh bear that in mind and, and keep everybody who come and collected matt is going to be in fourth here wegman's going to be in third uh we're looking at joshua siegfried going to be getting around striker striker still trying to hold on to that top five spot but it's going to be losing it here the uh, two to go this next time by in the stage. Uh, 25 being completed. And right now, Big Art has caught Cobbler. And we'll see if they're going to be able to try to make it all the way without having to come to Pit Road for fuel. Jeff Dillon came to Pit, Ra pit Road. Danny May came to Pit Road. It's a big racetrack, and you can waste a lot of fuel doing so. Right now, the 01 to the back bumper. Ooh, of the 99. 99 01 side by side. Back to the side draft they go. 99 to close out. See if the 01's going to drop in and try to take this line away. Good defense for the 99. We'll see if they, they go side by side. Cobbler still leads here. Breaking zone's going to be huge. Big Art leads that lap. Two laps to go. 26 and 27 have to be completed. As the 99 goes to work here, still on the outside. Cobbler clears out. Out of the wall. Caution comes out. And Jeff Dillon having an issue. So the 99 wins the stage. As he has the lead. Jeff Dillon off track. Is that it? Is that what happened? Is that I racing that did that? Yeah, the caution's out there. It must have been I racing that did that. That's crazy. Because I was looking at the stage information or the race information for the Cup Series, the pre-race narrative. Stage would complete a lap 27. So, yeah, that must have been an iRacing thing. It is what it is. Hey, folks, go check out Stay Tuned Sports. They're going to be on uh, the wonderful, wonderful platform that is uh, the, uh, uh, well, Spotify. That's where, I, that's where I'm subscribed to them at. Uh, you can find them on Spotify. They do have a YouTube channel. Uh, they were the poll. Uh, they sponsored the poll center, but I wouldn't give them their shout outs and give them their due diligence since I was going through those issues earlier. I want to make sure that we always shout out uh, the sponsors of of these leagues and and uh, everything that they do and all the cool stuff that they they uh, they're able to get out there and have some fun. Fish over at uh, Admin Box is absolutely amazing as well. Uh, you can check them out uh, and uh, get a discount. I think it's Chop Shop Ten is what you're going to be using. Uh, Track Racer, part of the family over here as well. Uh, the series sponsor is going to be Chopping It Up Podcast. Uh, they're another podcast uh, for the Chop, specifically for Chop Chop Racing. Uh, they run five series uh, uh, over five days. Uh, they have the Cup Series on Friday nights, which is what you're, uh, you're listening to now. The SLM uh, uh, stream on Sunday, which is what I do uh, uh, as well. Then Monday nights, we have the, the Dirt Series, which is uh, the Geomax Dirt Series. And then on Tuesday nights, we have the... Uh, the um, uh, the Speedy Trophy Truck Series. On a Wednesday nights, they have the VDR um, Road Series, uh, and uh, that is uh, broadcasted on the Chop Chop channel as well. But uh, Chop Chop It Up podcast is actually on Spotify as well. So while you're on Spotify, you can look up you can look up Chop Chop or Chop It Up podcast and uh, be able to find them. And of course, stay tuned, sports. You got to follow them as well. Uh, Ryan does a great job of of making the podcasts readily. Uh, available and has been doing them week in and week out. Uh, love to see it. Love to see what these guys are going to be able to accomplish and and be a part of. Uh, we I enjoy the the grand scheme of things here for, for these uh, for for the for these drivers and and what these drivers are going to be able to do. Um, it's it's been a ton of fun to be able to watch uh, the league grow in that re in that regard and and everything that they've been able to put out and. And it's just been it's been super cool, super chill. So, on the bottom left corner, you're gonna see <coughs> signature esports sponsors, Seattle Carpets. If you're in the uh, Northampton, uh, <coughs> Northampton, Virginia area, excuse me, 
give him a call uh he is an absolute legend chop chop racing actually sponsors signature esports as well so where i do some broadcasting with them they get out here and they, they do sponsor signature esports to help me keep this thing running as effectively as possible uh thank you to all of the streamers and all the content creators that have come on board to help us out as well dark horizon fishing as uh, as part of that to our uh new agency that we've been uh, a part of gravitas q uh for tiktok thank them very much mandarin racing is a racing legend he gets out there to uh, put on a good show beef jerky and limited sponsors all of our driver cams and of course thank you to each of you for being out there i do have channel points out there now and i i gotta open up uh i guess i'm gonna have to go up here and open up all the studio stuff because that is the only thing that i'm I shut everything down to be able to see what was going on. So if you're out there on, on YouTube, again, apologies for all the headaches. Thank you to everybody on Facebook. I know that there's going to be some, some bouncing back and forth. Budgie, you're amazing on Twitch. Much love to you uh, as well. I know that uh, there's there's a ton of issues out there. Thank you to everybody who's watching on Twitter as well. Keep killing it. Keep doing your thing. Um... No. If you experience buffering out there, that's my fault. Well, it's not my fault. It's Char Blame Charter. <laughs> Blame Charter. That's man, it happens. Uh, we are going to change this over, and we're going to make sure that this is gaming. Change this over to iRacing. Make sure that we throw this on the Chop Chop playlist. I've got to make some edits here. I forgot to do this before. Uh, so that way I can make sure that uh, everybody was going to be good to go. And we'll save some of those settings. Uh, we'll make sure that uh, iRacing is doing its thing. Again, all of the choppiness that's going on. I may still end up just going through and, well, you know, making some changes. Uh might still have to recall this race tomorrow we'll see either way i want to make sure that it shows up correctly and if i have to i will i will do what i gotta do hammond on the outside went on the inside culver's gonna be out there as well three drivers did not come to pit road for fuel tires only on lap two for i'm sorry uh fuel only for lap two on, for christopher burge so we're gonna see what these drivers are gonna be doing what they're kind of thinking if they're gonna be able to make it toward the end we're going though we're green lap 30 is gonna be underway Hammond went Culver Roberge. Now Nathan Bigard's going to be there to the outside of Roberge. Cobbler trying to hold on to the bottom side. There's a 99 three wide corner exit. Maybe Culver has the 01 there. Three wide. Here they go. It's a bad place to be if you're Roberge. Cobbler to the inside. Roberge, your biggest move of the race so far up 18. Two tires are going to swallow the drivers up, but there's no caution. This goes to, this bodes well for uh, track position here. Cobbler trying to get to the inside of Jerry Culver. Right now, John Hammond leading. Also, Black back to pit road. Might have had an issue here. Get away from the pasty moment. 40 back to the inside. Eight to the outside. Side by side as they come out of the corner. Ethan Big Art is going to be closing in. And Cobbler closed in as well. There's Matta behind. Roberge side by side with the 85. Matta clears 13. Three wide behind. Two by two. 88 to the 85. Sanders back by Church. Caffrey there as well. This is one of the tracks that I love for road course racers because it just showcases the long straightaway speeds. And the talent that you need to be able to drop into the corner here as we see all of these drivers continue to push. And thank you to everybody who is out there. I know that uh, we're doing what we can and how we can do it. It is trying to catch up, I promise. Big Arts is going to be out front. Battle for the lead is done. 
Right now, John Hammond. Oh, baby, they're back there. They're racking caution's going to come out here. Mark Ratchin off track. Went down to avoid. Mark was just trying to avoid that whole situation right there. That was, uh, who was that? That looked like Church here in the 13 of Jerry Culver. Oh, a little tangle. 77 went to the outside. 63 there. 63 into the five. Man, oh, man. It was David Steiner there. Now the 24 with some nose damage as well. I think he's fine, though. He should be able to roll forward. He was just waiting for everybody to get around here. All right. Well, that changes a few things. It's in Big Art is going to be that driver. So now does uh, John Hammond or Ryan Wendt come to pit road and try to work their way through the field? Do they stay out for track position? Fuel strategy is going to be everything. He wrote about half this race uh, on a single tank. Hmm. All right, about half the field coming to pit road. Half the field stand out. John Hammond. Did he come on pit road? It's going to be looking for a fuel tire strat. Going to be going to be looking at it. Gary Culver coming down pit road as well. We'll see if uh, any of the drivers are going to take a little bit of time to get that damage repaired. A minute 34. Uh, the average pit. Uh, the average uh, pace lap around here. So that's a lot of time. But Russell Black, who came to pit road, I believe he had a penalty. He's going to be getting one of his laps back. I think that is the only lap he is down, so he'll be back on the lead lap this time by. Yep. So Russell Black, you're lucky. No, he'll come around. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we can see uh, everybody. Everything's nice, cool, calm, and collected. I should have recorded this. Should have re-uploaded it, so I do apologize to, to everybody. There's uh, your lucky dog. Chopping it up. Podcast Cup Series here for the Chop Shop Racing crew. Really knocking it out of the park. Really doing a great job. We appreciate them. We appreciate everybody being out there and kind of being cool. Being awesome. Definitely some buffering going on out there, folks. Again, many apologies about the, the issues. Let's see, can I? I can do something here, folks. My output's really high. Might have to drop this down to be able to maintain. A lot of buffering out there. Again, apologies, folks. Maybe you're here to cheer on your racers. Uh, 
might try to get this fixed if we can get this fixed then we will uh drop down and and uh we'll have to call this race again tomorrow so uh i want to make sure that it's good to go i'm going to call it as it is and still continue to call it live if you guys can listen and enjoy it then by all means i appreciate you um if it fails then because our upload speeds are 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 pretty junk right now so uh there will be be some issue with it um, but either way it's a great race so far it's been really good just two cautions one for and then one for the stage so three cautions total caution uh, lap one or two and then this last caution just happened uh, on lap 32 Oh one ninety nine, base car is going to be in, and uh, we'll see how this one's going to go. Base car's in. Strategy, that's play key. Green flag. Great restart for Nathan Bigard here. As it would roll. Indianapolis 36 of 90. Halfway mark's gonna be lamp 45. Caffrey up 14. Tony Sanders is gonna be up 14. Dama's gonna be up 14. Philip Caffrey up 13. See Philip out there running. We like our we like our Philip Caffreys. We like our Michael Caffreys as well. Legends of the making, I'm telling you. David Steiner still out there running. He's got the modified look, but he's continued to get that car worked on, which is the most important thing here. He is going to be a lap down, but uh, had a bad descent here for not a bad ascent for him. You know, it's his first race. He was running inside the top ten for the hot for a hot moment, and that contact just didn't do him any justice. There's Russell Black, Chris your driver cam that's jerry Coleman. right here cockpit Over out of the straightaway, as they would look and see. Big Art's going to be right here. Half second the distance here as Cobbler tries to throw. Wagman just ran the fastest lap of the race to 51 7 2. Mata in tow. Second separates the top five. Joshua Siegfried's going to be right behind in that sixth spot, but here comes Roberge. Roberge behind John Hammond. Hammond to Caffrey. Caffrey to all of it. Ooh, a little wall tap for Ryan Went. He's fine, though. He's fine.
It's gonna show you folks what's going on with this. Good look at what's happening here. Ride went clears. Uh, here comes Adam Dama, the student driver. 12 spots. Ooh, Caffrey to the back bumper. 82 is clear. Caffrey will be uh, one of the drivers that you see. Might push his way forward here. Up five spots for John Hammond. Striker Wegman. Here's a pack here as Cobbler tries to go to the lead. They're battling two and three wide. As they get around turn one, big momentum here for the drivers as they continue to push. Cobbler to the bottom, trying to go side by side with the 01. Now here comes Wegman, and then Strickland, Meta, and then Siegfried. The top six all within a blanket, and Big Art uh, trying to close uh, the door and keep that door closed from Cobbler and Derek Wegman. These drivers have definitely put in some time and energy. And Big R trying to, try to slam the door and keep it shut right now. Cobbler to the bottom side. The 01 out of the corner. You're going to see maybe, I don't know, the 99 might give him the bump and run we saw in the Gen 6 car on Wednesday. This is not a track that you, you, you don't necessarily not see them get into the bump and run here. It is, a, it is a track that does bump and run very well. Bottom side for the 99. 39 rolling in the corner as well. 43 of 90. 99 carry Karam's the corner is going to be fine here. Just when you thought the battles across the, the race weren't going to heat up. Well, there they are. Right now, Tony Sanders and uh, John Hammond closing into the distance as well. These drivers find themselves two and a half off. They're closing in. 99 pulls the 01. 01's going to run a little bit higher on corner exit here. It's going to be right near that wall. On the front straightaway, you hear a little bit of a scrape, and that's exactly what you see. Hammond takes over seventh from Sanders. Now 44 of 90 being completed. Wretched coming to pit lane here. Or it was, I thought he was coming to pit lane. It was not. He is good to go. Wegman to the outside. End of the wall. Nope, he's good. I think Derek is changing his line here. He's seeing something up front. It's going to be very tough to pass for the most part here. Oh, Juan taps the wall. Big Art uh, getting a little smoke there with the uh, collision box that taps the wall. He's going to be fine. John Hammond, two and a half back and closing. He's very fast with this track, and we won't discuss uh, the last time he was at this track because I don't want to jinx anything. Big Art leads at about halfway through this one, 39 in tow. Right now, the 88 and fifth. Is Siegfried behind. Joshua was one of the faster drivers on the line. Oh, baby, 16 of Matic goes around. He's going to come back up the race line. Caution's going to come out. Man, oh, man. Thirty-nine of Wegman. There with uh, just trying to side draft. Just got too close. He was on corner exit. He was just trying to pull the sixteen back. Sixteen was pulling on him, and right there, sixteen had nowhere to go. He's as close to the wall as you really want to be. Right there, 39 drifts up just a little bit. And then I know he's trying to side draft there, but uh, it just pulls the two cars together. And then, boom, 
16-39. And Wegman, who slows down 16. Oh, and they just collect each other. I mean, it did minimize some damage there. The 16 get rolling forward? Yeah. That's not so bad. So the tables have turned. And some things have turned around. And uh should be fine. It'll be fine. You know, our internet had fixed itself for a half moment there. Now, not so much. Well, thank you, everybody, for being out there. Darian, thank you very much. I appreciate you being out there. Big love for Dama. 82 is uh, up 14. This, I'm telling you, the student driver's becoming the master driver here. Doing a phenomenal job, 1,500 I-rated driver. And lots of shout-outs. Shout-out your favorite drivers out there, folks. I want to make sure that you know that uh, we appreciate you, and we appreciate everybody being out there. Uh, absolutely phenomenal things happening here. All right. We're going to show you something. going to be in the middle of your screen here in... Just a moment. Let me get rid of all this stuff. Well, first and foremost, we're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, what's going on with the stream. So I know oop, that's the wrong oh I mean that one shows up really well too. Hold on. To me. Back to the primary. Okay. So we're gonna show it. I'm not gonna lose too much. So right here. This number is, I've lost 53%. So our bit rate is starting to level out, but you see it keeps dropping and keeps spiking and keeps jumping up and keeps dropping down. We've lost a lot. So you, when you guys are out there seeing the, the frames having issues and it, and it dropping, um, you apologize for it. That's what, we're, that's what we're working on. We're trying to fix all that so that way, that's what I'm working on right now. So if... Uh, you guys know it. You guys know it. You know, and if you stream, you know exactly what you're... I'm putting that off to the side. If any of you stream out there, you know what I'm going through. And uh, and uh, we'll have we'll have a conversation with Charter here pretty soon. Um, I have Jess going through it right now as well. So, But uh, much love to everybody. Thank you to each and every one of you who have uh, had their patience. I don't like issues with streams. I don't like the issues. I don't like seeing them. I expect something to work a certain way because we put it put it in play, uh, and tonight uh, tonight is just a bad night. We lost 52 percent of the frames uh, due to the network. Um, so that's why you you folks are out there seeing skips and all kinds of stuff. So um, may end up calling the race again tomorrow. Just depends. No, I'll make up. I'll do something I, to to make up for this stream. So Max, thank you for the likes, sir. Much love. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be. That's what we're gonna be doing, and we're gonna be knocking it out of the park. And if we don't, uh, if we don't get uh, any, if we don't get any rectif rectification on this one, we'll we'll do something with it. Much love, Budgie. You're amazing, Budgie. Thank you for being a chat again. You and Jess need to meet too. I will tell you what, you two would be peas and carrots. Telling you. Uh, drivers keep it on pit road, one forty six. This one right here, James. Thank you very much for liking the stream. Appreciate you, Mr. Gresham. Much love to you as well. Much love to the fam. Much love to everybody out there. Budgie is amazing. Uh, we keep uh, we keep doing our thing to, to give everybody. So that's what I wanted to show everybody. I've never had to show that on stream, but I don't want to. I don't want people to be like, "Oh, what's going on?" That that's what's going on. So uh, it's irritating, and hopefully you were able to see it. It may be blurry for you. I've lost 105,328 of my 205,094 frames. And it keeps ticking. 
But our, our connection's better. Getting better. I think it's getting better. I don't know. It gets more smooth and very cool. At least it will have a great end of this race if it, if it levels out. That's all I want. I just want it to level out. Big Arts. Siegfried. Green flag. Nate gets a little bit of a jump there. Cobbler came out on 46. Siegfried stayed out. I, I thought the Big Art did not come to pit road here. Might be saving a set of tires. Reminder that they only have three sets of tires on the wall. And so a couple of the drivers taking their second set here. John Hammond came out on 46. Stryker came out on 46. Tony Sanders came out on 46. Some drivers have gone through it. 33 is when Ryan Went came in. He's going to be all over the back bumper of Siegfried. He came in on 27. Cobbler is going to be trying to close in that full second advantage here. He's going to have 41. It, it, going to have 41 laps to go this time by. 50 being completed as we speak. Big Art with a big restart here. We'll need to have the timing down. Cobbler, full second out front is Big Art. Siegfried is uh, going to be in third. Ryan went in four. Top five night for him. Stryker gets around. He's going to have John Hammond in tow. Tony Sanders up 15. Dama up 11. Jonathan Casepier is going to be in third. Dama's been doing great, man. He was up inside the top 10 for, for a little bit there. He's still working. Still working on it. He's got a strategy about him that... Uh, no, we'll see what happens here. Big Arts, big lead. Whoa, Ryan went. See Striker down on the bottom side. Momentum, everything for every one of these drivers. It's gonna be huge when it comes to the. Whoa. Hold on to it. Hold on to your steering wheel. Yeah. Okay. Hammond. Going to close in as well. Cobbler closing in a 10th here. It's Big Art came in on 27. Siegfried came in on 27. Here's uh, what the pitch strategy says, according to all of that. 23 lap cycle for uh, the year 01, your race leader right now. Cobbler on newer tires as well. 23 lap cycle for Siegfried. Might be choosing tires over, over everything. And everybody at some point, the tires are going to wear out. That's, that's, that's a, that's a true, that's a true, uh, ne never a truer statement. These tires are going to wear out. You got to help him get his paints to work. Not sure what the issue is. Exactly. I don't know what he's having, but I love his paint. Dama back to 15th here. Give it on 46. That's not the paint he's supposed to be wearing. Oh, his number. No, it, no, his number's fine. 82 is there. It's student driver. That's not if that's not the paint he's supposed to be wearing. Either way, I love the paint. Might be trying to save here. Not a bad idea. Four tenth of a second difference here from the 01 to the 99. 85 in tow. Tires can not it can be a factor for the most part, but right now, one of the things you got to worry about is uh, the fuel strat for the 01. 99 led the first uh, third of the race. Now getting into the point where they're starting to find more, more of the inkling of uh, getting this uh, this this race uh, moving in the positive direction. 37 laps to go this time by. Ryan went inside the top five. John Hammond in six. Tony Sanders up 15. Jerry Culver's going to be up four. Caffrey rolling. Stryker, six for each side by side. 40 if Ryan went to the bottom. Went still on the back bumper. Big push from the 40. 80 into the corner. 40 tight in the corner. Side by side. Can John Hammond close it in? Woo, eight to the outside of the 40. 
40 with a good run there, pushing those drivers in front of him. Really had a good run. Helped Stryker clear for third. And now Siegfried and Hammond having to move forward. Josh, giving on 27, able to defend. That's what I'm talking about. Tires at a certain point are going to wear out. That's going to happen. But what I'm seeing right now is that the drivers are going to be able to are going to be able to defend for for a hot moment. Eight turns down to the bottom side, 85 side drafts on the corner down the straightaway. As now 88 breaks the draft up. Ryan went to the back bumper of the eight. 85 eight side draft 40 with a big bump clears the clears the eight here. 85 into the corner. 40 given help where help is due. And I tell you what, if you want to clear a corner and get around the 85, that's where the 40 is going to be able to help you. Ryan Went came it on 33, a little bit fresher tire than a driver in front of him. But still having a have a little bit of uh, work to do here as they try to clear. Jerry Culver came it on 46 as well. 47 for Oberge came in a topped off on fuel got tires. Your luckiest of dogs uh, who was uh, back here a moment ago going to be Russell Black, but right here Mark Retchen. Able to get the car worked on on that last caution. Came to pit road, got it taken care of. David Steiner still running around with the modified look. All ties are still on, pit, uh, still on, still on the track as well. Jeff Dillon out, Danny May out, Clint Hackett out of the race. Alonso King out, lap one. It's unfortunate for that driver. Right now the 01 to the 99 striker in tow. Here comes John Hammond, Joshua Siegfried. Your top five nights make it possible. We're going to throw it on exciting for you folks and let it have at it as these drivers go to work. And I'm going to take a vocal break and go check on something upstairs as uh, life has uh, seemed to work down here. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to check on things. Cobbler's going to be out front. One and three quarter of a second, or one and a quarter of a second here for Strickland and John Hammond. Nathan Bigart's going to be holding on to fourth here. 27 laps to go in this one. Caffrey inside the top five has been working his way forward as well. Great lap time so far for these drivers. Wretched coming to pit lane or leaving pit lane. He's uh, he's uh, down on the very bottom there. That pit road entry commitment is crazy. It really is. Derek Wegman is going to be right here in the 39. You know, he's wanting a caution right now because he wants to get some more of that damage fixed. And he wants to be able to get himself back into the mix here. Philip Caffrey is the driver right in front of him. Matta, who started uh, on pole back here in the back, is uh, had some damage worked on as well. He's uh, been trying to take care of some things. Good uh, times, uh, good uh, standings, and so far, so good for for everybody out there. Much love to everybody. Cobbler to Strickland, one and one and a one and a half seconds now. The distance as these drivers try to close in the pace for Bryce Cobbler, who is going to have uh, 64 of 90 complete this time by as they get into three and four. Good momentum, good everything for, for all the drivers, and we appreciate everybody being out there. Much love to you. If you haven't done so, again, reach up, hit that like button for me. It goes a long way to support the stream. I normally would be would have been live everywhere, but uh, we, we had those uh, early internet issues, and I'm not, not a fan of those kinds of those issues. Dama trying to go back, uh, battle uh, side by side with a five here. There's the 82 of the five. As the 82 will try to break the draft here and try to run a little bit lower, five up the race line. Gives uh, the 82 the 13th spot. Dama still up. Is still up. Uh, 10 spots sitting at 13th here. He was back to 15th. Now has worked his way back to this spot here. There's a church off six. Case Spears going to be a positive three. Look at this little pack that we see right here. They have been going at it. Robers to the inside of Ryan Wendt. This is from sixth on back. Every one of these drivers... Trying to close in, Ryan Went on the high side. Trying to savor some of that time. Tony Sanders to the bottom side. Went up near the wall. Church, not far off of these drivers, but right here is uh, Jonathan Casebeer in the 13 of Jerry Culver. Culver rolling, having a good race line so far. Continuing to push. There's Jerry Culver right there. And there's Jerry Culver's car. Good head of steam to the bank bumper to the seven. Spot of bifido awareness for the number seven of Tony Sanders. You see Jerry Culver go to the outside, go to the inside. Seven way up near the wall. Woo! There's the nine of Brock Duty. We get to talk about him every once in a while. I like talking about him because he, he just keeps himself quiet. It's a good track for him here. So far inside the top 10 as they continue to push. Jonathan Casebeer to Tony Sanders. Casebeer to the bank bumper. Still pushing forward. A lot of time and energy still happening here. Roberge, the nicest Canadian you're going to meet. Coming down to the straightaway. 24 laps to go. Presented by Admin Box. Go to adminbox.com with two X's. Make sure you use promo code chop chop 10 to be able to do what you do best and put in the time and the energy and all the cool things that you see out of all these drivers. Momentum is everything. And they're going to need every bit of it as they continue to push. D1 Cam's going to be Brad Dove. He's going to be up four, 25. Rolling the corner. Turn two to the back straightaway. Back straightaway is one of my... Uh, I, I really do wish that Indianapolis had kept grandstands all the way around this racetrack, but I uh, can understand why they did not. 24 laps to go. Dove trying to track down Joshua Siegfried, who's going to be here in the 85. There's Russell Black back out on pit road. Uh, came out of pit road. He had some things to take care of on pit road. I saw him uh, dealing with some stuff on the uh, on the on the other other side of things. So we'll see Siegfried coming to pit road this time by. Uh, but uh, Russell Black doing his thing. Got four minutes of damage. Four and a half, four and a half minutes of damage repaired. Four forty three actually to be exact. So he got that taken care of and uh, is going to be out there running. We appreciate all the drivers doing what they got to do to be the cool, calm, and collected cucumbers that they are. Thank you to everybody. Oh, caution comes out. Jerry Culver off track. 
And that changes everything once again. Jerry Culver right here. Rock duty. Oh, no. Duty up to try to pull the air. And, oh, Culver. Some nose damage there. Should be able to get that fixed if they can catch back up. Man, oh, man. Joshua Siegfried's going to be leaving pit road here. Maybe he was on getting his uh, his cycle here. Well, the caution came out, so he came out after all of that. So we'll have to wait for the free pass, which shouldn't be an issue. But half the field will be there. All right. And then Siegfried. Was he ahead of the 99? No, I don't think that he was. I think he is going to be right there. So he's going to, everybody's probably coming to pit road, but at least I would assume that uh, they've ran enough time here to be able to get tires and fuel. Big Art might be able to salvage something here, but we noticed after about 10 laps, the tires started to show their, show their ugly head. And, uh, yeah, they're coming up at road. So the, the Josh is going to be able to get back on the lead lap here. He'll be your free pass car. Russell Black will be able to do the same thing. So that'll be a lap back for Russ. He's going to be about six laps down. It'll be five laps down this next time, I do believe. Man, oh, man. Wretched should be able to get one. He's coming up at road. Joshua's coming. He's not coming up here. He's going to stay there. David Steiner be able to stay out. He'll be able to get uh, one of his laps back as well. And actually, Steiner's going to be your lucky dog. So that's that's even better for him, I do believe. But yeah, Steiner should be able to get around clear. Go to his laps back. Yeah, he's going to be your lucky dog. He's going to be able to clear these drivers. They have to come back around, then get himself back to pit road. Dama on pit road. Cobbler will leave. And have the race off pit road. John Hammond doing the same thing. Big Art will be right there. And now a level playing field for everybody. 21 laps to go. Thank you to Chopping It Up Medium Podcast. Thank you to Stay Tuned Sports. Make sure you check out. Stay Tuned Sports is uh, not only a good podcast uh, if you like everything sports, but uh, they've been learning a little bit about the NASCAR sector out there. I was uh, I went back and listened again for the second or third time the, uh, the uh, podcast episode where Ryan and John were out there talking with uh, with the crew and uh, it was uh, it was a good podcast talking about eye racing and NASCAR and sports and all kinds of things like that. Uh, we love it. We appreciate it. Uh, it's one of the things that makes the the atmosphere so enticing about sports is being able to talk about it. Kind of what we do. All right. Points for the series. <laughs> Here it is. Nathan Bigard has five wins on the series. It's Michael Strickland, two on the Chopping It Up Next Gen Cup series. Uh, Jason Day, who is uh, missing today's race, I do believe, is uh, got a stage wins its fourth, uh, third in the points. Uh, Modest its fourth in points. That'll change today. A four point deficit uh, in that regard. John Hammond, two stage wins uh, on the series as well. Has uh, a top five night right now. Alonso King sits sixth in the point standings. Jeff Dillon, Colby Hartung, Michael Caffrey, Brad Dove, your top 10 in the points as they would stand uh, for today's race. Uh, and that is uh, through the nine races that we have. When you remember to try to tune into real life NASCAR, let's go. To, well, I tell you what, you're going to be a fan. Uh, my, my 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 wife would be a fan of you of you guys over there. If you like Truex Jr., then then she's a fan of you. Truex Jr. is a phenomenal racer out there. Speaking of which, it's Talladega. Talladega this weekend, this Sunday, the Talladega 500 uh, is uh, it's the it's the second most important race of the season, I think, besides. Uh, besides, of course, the, the the regular season championship race, which will happen, you know, 20-plus races from now. Um, we love NASCAR. We love our NASCAR. So 
Anytime you guys want to talk sports, I'm all about it. I'll come over and have a little chit chat with uh, the stay tuned sports folks. I do enjoy it. Do like uh, being a part of uh, of every platform that we can and and uh, being able to grow not just uh, signature esports, but and, you know be there to help grow other platforms. And of course, I like talking. If you can't if you can't imagine why. All right, Cobbler, Hammond, Strickland, Big Arts going to be. Your front two rows of the restarts here, 98, 77, side by side. Caffrey up into the banks. Roberge is going to be up 19 spots. The Giggity Lap is when they came to pit road. And now we're going to have, I don't know, 19 laps to go, something like that. Green flag. Yep, 19 to go this time by Cobbler, Strickland. Hammond has Bigart to the bottom side. Good run for the drivers. A little free for the 01 there. Eight of Hammond running. Budgie says, let's go. Appreciate you, dear. Thank you very much for being out there in chat. When you guys are, if you guys are out there on Twitch, stick around. At the end, I'm going to raid over to uh, a guy who is pretty freaking awesome, the Bearded Baron. We like him. He uh, he is uh, doing a subathon right now that we absolutely uh, would love to see. Uh, him have even more success than what he already has so stick around uh, on twitch we're going to make sure we raid over uh, i'm gonna i've been talking about trying to do more and more of that uh as of late you see them trying to break up the draft here the 99 of cobbler doing that, just that the more air you can disrupt the the better off you're going to be and right now the 88 to the back bumper of the 99 it's going to be higher on the race line hammond a little bit lower on the race line top five nine for roberge as they try to continue to carry him forward. 18 laps to go. Caffrey, great race line behind. You see how close he got to the wall there? They're going to break up the draft. One more time on the straightaways. The draft is so important at this racetrack. Every bit of air to keep that splitter doing its job and keeping the air from lifting that car off the ground at any point. You want the air to travel through the car, underneath it, around it. You do not want to, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at all that speed. A lot of dust in the air as well. Crazy to think, crazy to see. And right now, 51.71 for Cobbler. Fastest lap of the race so far. 199 miles an hour. Here's your dashboard coming up on the right, bottom right. Look at the speed. Everybody's having to chase right now. Caffrey to the outside of Roberge. Roberge and Caffrey. Roberge might get to the inside of, Ca uh, I'm sorry, Caffrey might get to the inside of Roberge here. We'll see if that, uh, that race line's gonna matter here very soon. Strickland still trying to carry the speed. Ammon closer here. The more movement you get out of that car, the worse off it'll be. Five, five, two, John Hammond, the fastest lap of the race. Five, one, five, two was the lap there. 16 laps to go. Hammond faster, still trying to close in the distance. The more speed, the more you live on the edge, the worse off it can be for you. But right now, they are catching Cobbler here. 196 into the corner. Big Art behind, trying to capitalize. John Hammond, top three night. I think we're well within the right to say it now. The last time John Hammond on the, in this car, on this track, won the race. So now it is down to that momentum. What can he do? 197 as they carry. Still Hammond, fastest lap of the race. Hammond to the back bumper to the 88. Onto the back bumper, gets him a little free, a little dicey into the corner. Trying to carry the corner as they would, carrying out. Straight line draft for him. Cobbler will not break the draft this time. And now Roberge to Caffrey. Roberge down to break the draft up. Slides up in front of the 77. Now into the corner. Battle for fifth, just as intense as the battle for the lead. 
Right now, the 88 trying to hold off the 8. The 8 trying to hold off the 01. Everybody trying to play catch up to the 99. Bump draft coming for the 99. I'm sorry, for the 88. 8 was right on the back bumper. 88 to the bottom. The draft, Kenny crossover. 01 trying to carry. 01 with some speed. Got to leverage the pass. Eight to the outside. Oh, one trying to break the side draft. Now the eight stuck in a rock and a hard spot. Eight can carry the corner. He can defend here. Not going to do it. Might have the speed off the corner. Be able to play catch up to the 01. John Hammond left the lane open for the 01 to make the pass. And now. Nathan Bigart is going to be trying to do so. Caffrey still trying to catch here. Jonathan Casebeer up seven. Here's Tony Sanders up 14. Go back and check on some of the favorites in the race. Phil Caffrey up 13, having a phenomenal race tonight. Ian Brett Dove side by side. Dove into the corner panel of the 61. 61 up near the wall. Brad Dove clears. Siegfried's there. There's the 82 of Dama. Philip Caffrey having a phenomenal night here. Into the wall, able to clear. Woo! Caffrey was doing phenomenal there, and then all of a sudden, that little group right there kind of slammed the door on him. With the gyrocam of Philip Caffrey, what he sees in front of him. Dama trying to get to the back bumper of Mark Wretched. Dama, Retchen, big speed, 12 laps to go. Strickland, Big Art, Hammond, all within a striking distance. Big Art to the outside. As now the lead is about to be hunted down. 88 to the eight. And now the draft being broken again. Everybody trying to carry speed. Go Burge trying to do the same thing. Hammond. Trying to have a top three night. Would love to have the win. And right now, the 01 and the 99 back to Duke at again. All the way down. Near the wall. A lane up. Hammond and Stryker. Last time buys. Four tenths of a second difference. And right now, Hammond. Can get to the back bumper of the 88. And the top four still working. Duty's going to be off one. Jerry Culver is going to be right there off six. Little Caffrey. Right there in tow of these drivers. Can get himself moving forward. Mark Retchen behind the 85 of Joshua Siegfried. Can have a top 10 night. Josh was fast earlier. Brad Dove in, in tow as well. Robert Church. Your top five, or your number five off six was inside the top five earlier. Aids to get some work done. Here's Derek Wegman, who has worked his way through the field and trying to get himself back inside the top 10. Ryan went behind uh, Michael Mata. Mata really trying to get himself moving forward. He is your pole sitter with 10 laps to go. Has speed, just needs the opportunity to climb in and do his job. 10 to go here in Indianapolis. Oh, a little well tap for the eight. He's good. He's fine. That wasn't that hard. Under a car length from the 99 and the 01. The 88 still there. These drivers ready to pounce at a moment's notice. Turn four. These drivers are busy. You know, their hands are busy. John Hammond ahead of him. This has turned into a race. Waiting for any kind of mistake from anybody in front of him. 
Look how close these top four are. Look how, look at this race back here. Caffrey to fifth now. Casebeer into seventh. Tony Sanders trying to hold him off. And yeah. Cobbler, Big Art. Breaking the draft up. Pulls the driver side by side. Here comes a run to the inside. 88 to the corner. 88 into the toe. A great bump draft from the eight. 88 is going to take the 01. Eight is going to be to the inside. The run belonging to these two. 01 up near the wall. Now here comes the eight with the 01. Striker try to chase him down. Man, the strategy is on the eight. Helping the 88 get around the 01 there. The run developed. And that's exactly what the 88 needed there if he wanted to keep the 01 at bay. Strickland trying to advance his way forward and get his third win on the season. The less you move the car, the more you can stay in the pocket, the better off you're going to be. And right now, Strickland trying to get to the back bumper with the 99. 99, 88, 01, 8, 77. Going to be your top five. Roberge. Still trying to close in right now. Has a little bit of help coming from behind. There is Jonathan Case here to the number three. Outside lane for the three. He's going to run that outside lane. There's speed there. There's grip there as well. What a run they're having. Right back here, Tony Sanders and Michael Matta. Matta and Ryan Went utilize that outside lane. Sanders rocking a hard spot here. Is going to have to carry him the corner. Ryan went inside the top 10. A night for him here as he carries the outside. Sanders not clear, but is going to be able to be clear. Actually, he was very well clear. Sorry about that. That was on my call. Right now, Ryan went. will try to work the inside. It's going to pull the inside lane over the seven. Seven of the 40 side by side. A little bit of tap. A little bit of, a little bit of uh, love. A little bit of everything happening here. As uh, right now, the 99 carrying carrying great speed we'll try to break up the he's got enough to break up the draft here he could probably do it and right now so he stays the as the 01 the 88 stayed there 99 to break up the draft there's a bump draft coming for the 01 01 to the 88 88 will have speed can he get to the outside 01 big bump and run here that's what that is it's a high speed bump and run we saw it this past wednesday in the gen 6 series that we called for the winston throwback series now we're seeing it right here. High-speed bump and runs are a big thing into this racetrack. And right now, Strickland, big shove coming. The 99 to break up the draft. Can he get there? 88, way up high on the outside. Race line taken away for the 99. 88 out of the braking zone. Going to have to go at it again. 88 on the corner. 88, 01, side-by-side -side wall tap. Here comes the eight on the outside. Big Art gets pulled by Cobbler. Cobbler control the race line for these drivers. It's right now the side-by-side -side action still happening second on back. Strickland will have to carry here. And where does John Hammond go? With a 99, four-tenth of a second lead. As right now they go, they move. Hammond. Try to find the driver to clear here, or try to clear with. Hammond to the outside. We'll be able to carry the corner. 88 doing a great job of defending that second spot. We'll be able to clear the 0-1 here. Roberge in sixth. Has Jonathan Casebeer behind. How about back here? Little battles happening all over the racetrack. Brad Dove, Jonathan Siegfried, Derek Wegman. Still moving. Church has Jerry Culver in tow. Right behind that, Brock Duty. Adam Dama. Moving up the race line again. Oh, no. No caution. No caution. Jerry Culver. Now there's going to be a caution. Jerry Culver. Mark Retchen. Brock Duty. Big wreck on the back straightaway. And we will have a green-white checkered attempt. 13 gets into the wall. Man, oh, man, what a race we were having.
13 was behind the five of Robert Church. The 13 right here. End of the wall, out of the corner. Brock Duty. Adam Dama doing a great job of avoiding that. Caffrey as well. Mark Retchen. Oh, Mark was coming around the, the race line there. Went to go low. Oh, I just misjudged where the smoke. That smoke can be devastating. That's exactly what happened there. Bryce Cobbler, your race leader. And with a green-white checkered attempt. Duty will come to pit road. Culver's on pit road. Steiner's going to be your lucky dog here. And is on the lead lap. And get some more damage repaired. Does anybody come to pit road for tires? I don't think anybody comes to pit road for tires. If they do, that would be crazy. But it might happen. John Hammond in. Brent Altizer is coming in as well. Russell Black. Still looking for another lap or two. Steiner. Coming around is going to be back on the lead lap here. We will have a green-white checkered attempt. Man, oh, man. Here goes Russell Black. He will be your lucky dog. And David Steiner was still in the lead lap there. So, incredible race for Steiner. But Russell Black will get one of his laps back here. A chance. John Hammond getting some right side taken care of. I think he might have had a little bit of damage there from uh, the wall tap that he had. Just trying to look at what he's got going on here. And honestly, yeah, just a little buff, a little polishing going on there. What a great push he was doing. I mean, he kept, he did exactly what Ryan Went did earlier. He was pushing people into the race line and giving everybody a shot. We'll see if John Hammond's going to be able to get a little bit more taken care of. There is uh, Red Altizer coming off pit road. John Hammond will have a lot of work to do if he wants to be able to carry 16 spots to the front. Not impossible. Not impossible. Right. Ammon will leave pit road. He will get as much taken care of as he can. Got some right front damage. Man, oh man. Cobbler, Strickland, Caffrey, Big Art, Casebeer, Roberge. Ryan Wentz back here as well. Matta, Brad, Tony Sanders, everybody ready to rock and roll. And I didn't even see. It was just one. I believe it's just one. No, three green white checkered attempts. Thought it was one. Three. Three green white checkered attempts. Anything can happen. John Hammond trying to catch up to the field here. He's coming around the front straight away. They're on the back straightaway, getting ready to enter turn three. Jonathan Case Beer. If the tires warmed up, not quite sure. The best thing for Cobbler right now is to be able to keep that start and finish uh, being exactly where he needs to be. In re uh, the restart zone is coming up. Going to be into turn four. John Hammond catching up. He's in three right now. Going to be able to catch up to the field. He's going to have to get around a couple of drivers here. 
as uh, they get ready to get ready to go back to green flag racing it's the hardest part about this racetrack is that right there so it gets in front of uh, the 85 we'll have to be to the inside of the 65 and we'll be right there <laughs> and tucked in green flag Cobbler goes, and now we are green. Strickland to the outside. Big Art right there. And so is Caffrey. Caffrey to the wall. Ryan Went gets sit down the racetrack. Ryan Went is losing ground. Holds on to it as they are green here. John Hammond in tow to the inside. Hammond trying to get more spots here as the newest tires of all the drivers, and they are continuing. Oh, Caffrey to the wall. Two laps to go. Can they get the white flag here? Important factors as they carry and a three and four. On to the fresh rate of wall tap for the 88. Big Art trying to get one more. White flag waves. Final lap. Bryce Cobbler. Eats four smooth corners. Strickland to the back bumper of the 01. Caffrey in tow as well. Wall tap for everybody. They're all free. They're all loose. Church and Wegman off the off the race line. Wegman having an issue. Bryce Cobbler, Nathan Bigart, three and four. Final two turns. Robert to fifth biggest move of the race, fastest lap of the race, belonging to John Hammond. Still trying to get one more position. Has a lot of time. 99 quarter second final turn straight away 99 needs all the speed he can get he's gonna get it race one that's his cobbler wins big art's gonna be second strickland third caffrey case your top five will burge will finish in sixth and man oh man what a race uh, we may have had issues in the in early going here, folks, but I tell you what, this one turned out to be a phenomenal race once it started getting situated and fixed and all that stuff. So thank you to everybody who was tuned in tonight. Here's what happened to Robert Church and Derek Wegman. They got uh, all combobulated here. I think this was just a corner exit thing here. 99, tied off the wall. Oh, into the wall. Man. That's what happened with a five there as well. Dama gets around. He's good. <clears throat> excuse me. They roll. <clears throat> excuse me. What a race that was. Congratulations to the drivers. Uh, Bryce Cobbler is going to be your race winner here today. As uh, we look at week nine ending where it is. ChopShopRacing.net. If you want to be a part of this series, make sure you get out there and do so. Cobbler, Big Art, uh, Strickland, your top three. Caffrey, Casper, your top five. Robert, your biggest mover of the race. Still up 19, I'm sorry, 18 spots here. Matt is going to be up uh, off six, but uh, rebounds to the top 10 night. Brad Dove, Tony Sanders, Ryan Went, your top 10. John Hammond rebounds to 11th there. Dama Church, Wegman, Steiner as uh, your top 15. Siegfried, uh, Caffrey, Black, your top 18. And then down the rest of your field. Duty, Culver, Retchen, Altizer, Dylan, May, Hackett, Alonso King uh, through 26th, and, and oh man, what a great race that was. That's a pretty phenomenal race, if I do say so myself. Even with all the issues that I saw, it was still pretty awesome. All right, he's going to celebrate, burn it down. Why are we going so fast? Let's go, John. Nice job, brother. Mr. K. Spear, much love to you, brother. Congrats on the top five night, brother. Great job for you over there. Great job. We appreciate that. Big old, big old momentum. Big old time. Wait for your race winner to hop into the Discord here. And we'll talk to him. A big old uh, battle going on there. Having to control the race line. Having to control the restart on that last green-white checkered attempt. 99 comes home in victory lane. Congratulations, Bryce. Tell me about it, man. 
Bryce, tell me about it. Man, I am so glad that race ended because the lap before I knocked in the toe in the car, um, going down, I think in one and two. So I knew, and as soon as I hit it, I was like, oh no, it just got tight. And then it plowed off the next corner. So I'm glad it ended when it did. But I mean, I haven't ran a league in I think a year and a half if I've done so, many, so much broadcasting. And it's, I would say it's good to be back in it. I was, I was nervous the whole entire time. I knew that if I got a little bit ahead, like a little bit late in the run, it would have been fine. So when it was about 20 laps, I was pretty confident, in it, but made a change to the steering offset. I put it at negative three and it gave me some good exit, but made my entry so tight in that first run, I was uh, plowing tight towards the end of it. So I had to back up the entry throughout the run, but it was it was definitely hectic. But once you once you got within for about six tenths away from somebody, it was uh, this car was gone. I'm really good at flat tracks for some odd reason, but it's definitely good to come home with the win, especially my first race in this league. I was uh, really nervous. There's a lot of sweat on this chair right now. Tell you what, you and uh, you and you, the top four were pretty much just throwing down and having to defend the line, try to break up the air, just trying to do what you could to give yourself uh, momentum. Uh, I just it, it goes to show that this was uh, this was was phenomenal just to be able to look at it. What is the uh, what's the key? to uh, what's one of the keys to uh, this uh, this race and what's one of the keys when it comes to the next gen car for anybody that's out there wanting to run where do you find uh that you have to push and where do you have to find that you have to kind of lay back a little well i went from uh kind of just like a janky setup to actually having a full sim rig so i know that's helped i've gotten a wheel upgrade handbrake upgrade shifter upgrade so that definitely helps but with these next gen cars it's they're very finicky that I knew on this track, you were going to have to shift a little bit and getting in the corner, you had to shift. But with these next gens, they, once they, if they, when they turn, they turn, but when they don't turn, they stop turning. So I knew pretty much the whole entire time I had to be pretty on it. So I knew I had to kind of back up the corners and get it pointed and then get back on the gas. And I was actually trying to make it just a little bit looser, uh, smashing the throttle on exit, trying to get that rear end to kick out. So it would stop burning right front but if i mean i love these next gens I, besides the shifting part i i have absolutely fallen in love with them i just there's just something about them that i like they're so fun to drive but they're very hard to handle sometimes and the draft is such a big thing but on this track it's really you didn't want anybody to get to your outside i mean even um the O one one when he took the outside after i slipped in my box a little bit i told him uh you found it out and he said yeah i found it out when i tried to get below you and i was like yeah you did so really just staying on the outside of somebody because you got so tight up under them that's really with most tracks you just want to hold the track position and i wasn't throwing egregious blocks either it was just it was really good racing up there but it's just these these next gens every track is different you have to you have to learn them you have to know what they want to do you have to know when to shift especially which is a big thing but it these next gens are just so much fun but for this track you just you couldn't get in, couldn't get in hard because it burned the right front off, and you'd be tight on exit. You had to kind of lay off a little bit and then kind of smash it through the corner there. It was a great race. I didn't see any egregious. I didn't. I didn't see anything egregious uh, on my end. I just watched. I just watched some hard racing. And that's what it looked like for me. Bryce, congratulations on the victory here. It is. Uh, it's good to see one of one. You're batting a thousand. That's. Uh, it's a good thing going into uh, the next race, of course. But your time, man. Give your shoutouts, man. So, I mean, I, I don't really have any sponsors, but the college that uh, I go to, I used to run track from, I sadly don't now, but I know maybe some of the esports people might be watching it at uh, Emory and Henry College. We're actually going to a university before I uh, graduate, media communications major. So, if they're watching, shout out to you all running the Emory and Henry paint scheme, repping them here. Uh, my dad, if he was watching, really anybody else that's watching, I know you had some issues with the broadcast, and I've had those before running my own broadcast channel. So, it's definitely good seeing somebody else broadcast besides me for once in my life but man it was just the shout out to everybody who was watching it shout out to all the guys that i was racing around to because that was super hard racing there at the end and i was I, i'm my back's really sweaty because i was so nervous that, that one of them was going to find a way around me there tell you what uh I, I i don't like having issues and a very few and far between when it comes to and i'm actually recording the interviews right now just to be able to say side because i'm now dealing with the same upload issue that i had earlier but uh nothing wrong with it though i just i just have to it, it's charter <laughs> it's yeah it's spectrum spectrum's going through some funky stuff right now so uh but nothing i can do about it uh it, it, sometimes there's things that are beyond your control 
and uh, this is something that's beyond my control. Uh, like the weather, when the weather goes goes south, sometimes it just it just happens. And when I racing has an issue, that's an issue. But tonight was your night, man. Congratulations, and uh, it's been fun to watch. We'll see you next week, okay? Right, thank you, man. That's uh, Mister Ninety Nine coming home in uh, victory lane P two tonight. Still a top three. It's a driver that we're always used to seeing up here. That's going to be the 01 of Nathan Big Art. Uh, Nate, get your hands full tonight. Yeah, I'd say, man. What a what a great race. What a battle. Like that. That was a war out there. A lot, a lot of fast cars. You know, similar pace. And it was all about like really that learning the air. You know, affecting other people's air, taking their lines away. It, it's a different type of racing, but it's fun. I tell you what, that was one of the things about tonight that we watched everyone go through from from the front to the back. People were trying to utilize the the, the race, uh, uh, the, the 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 track, uh, the the differences in the car, the differences in where the track line was going to be. Um, I mean, we were watching people break the draft from sixth on back as well, as well as try to be, uh, do that up front. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'd imagine it's right through the field, man. And the further you go back the more upset the car is going to get because you're in dirtier and dirtier air. You know, that I think track position was king. Uh, you could even have, you know, a few laps on your tires and still hold the lead. Like, once you had the lead, it was pretty good, pretty easy. Not easy, but, you know, easier than battling for second or third just because you're getting that effect of that air. But it, it made for great racing, you know, great battling. And it, I, I'm just happy to beat Stryker. I mean, you know, like, I love winning, but I, my main goal was to beat Stryker. I can't let him catch up in the points. That's one of the things that we were seeing. And then John was up there. I was, I was, I, man, I, I jinxed it. I know I did. I know, I know I, I, exactly what I did. I said, I said, all right, we're 15 laps to go. I think I can talk about it now. The last time this car was on here, <laughs> he won. And then he gets some right front nose damage. Caution comes out and he, <laughs> he goes to get it fixed. And I was, uh, I was, I was devastated a little bit there for him, but uh, I, I'm i going to bring him up. I'm going to talk to him anyway. Um, this one was uh, this one was interesting in and, and, and the fact that uh, we saw contenders throughout. We saw people push a little harder and probably one of the best races so far this season. Yeah, I think so. I, I want to say some great green flag racing, you know, longer runs, having time to wear the tires out. I, I was devastated when the stage, yeah, the stage didn't end under green and it cut short a lap because, man, I was definitely faster than Bryce on the longer run. You know, I ran him down and I was going for the pass, made one attempt at it, and I was hoping to get another chance, but caution just came out too early. But I think everyone did a great job tonight. You know, uh, Indy's a tough track. Uh, it's, it's hard to keep a hold of the car. You know, you're going fast and it gets loose. It's hard to save it, but just hats off to the drivers and – Great battle on up front, man. That was fun. Five wins on the season. P2 tonight, man. Congratulations, of course. Uh, this one's, uh, this one uh, will go, this will go into the record books, books man, as, uh, as, as a good one. Give me shout outs, brother. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to you, Jason, Signature Esports. Uh, love all the broadcasts you do, especially this one. Really enjoy it. Uh, shout out to the Chop Shop crew, uh, all the admins that do all the work for us to do all this fun racing out here. Uh, all the drivers, again, doing a great job tonight, having fun. I really hope everyone's having a great time out here because I am. Um, shout out to, you know, uh, Bryce getting the win, Stryker third, John up there running in fourth, and Caffrey had a heck of a run at the end. Um, give a shout out to all the fans watching and number one fan always watching. Love you, Mom. And uh, if she doesn't see it, I'm recording the the interviews so that way, if I have to do something tomorrow to shorten this up and talk about it, we'll do it. I'll, even if I have to make a highlight video, <laughs> because the day was great. Uh, yeah, we're still we're there for a long stint. There we were dealing with great connection, and then now it's tanking to 1357 kbps at the moment. So uh, it it sucks. It sucks. So I hate it. I really do hate it. Uh, but Nate, much love, man. It was fun. Yeah, have a good night. That's the that's the O one coming home uh, in uh, P two. P three belongs to the Strickland, the Striker, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, coming home to that uh, that uh, that beautiful eighty eight. Tell me about it, man. This one looked like you were wheeling and dealing and having a having a blast. You you had some great pushes coming from behind you to help you try to clear. Uh, it was just difficult to hold on to there towards the end. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you when you're going all, when you're no longer saving and you're going full bore for it there at the last ten laps, um, it, it, a little mistake, anything can change. You know, the outcome of the race. Uh, both those guys uh, that beat me, um, Bryce and Nathan, uh, they they should have beat me regardless. Uh, they they were better than me. I was actually holding Nate up a little bit that towards the tail end. I'm quite surprised of how decent the car ran because when I first came into the race, I, I expected maybe to be lucky to get a top 10. As I wasn't feeling the track, I, 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 for some reason, me and Indy don't don't mesh real, real well most of the time. But uh, once we got out there and just found the pack, pretty much just try to ride around and, and watch to see what everybody else is doing, I was able to save enough tire to, to be able to stay in the draft, and that was a key thing. Um, once you were in that draft, it sucked you right up to the guy. The problem is uh, passing. I mean, it's yeah. almost impossible. You got to either use the bumper or, you know, he's got to make a mistake. And obviously, Nate and Bryce, they're probably not going to make mistakes. So um, I was planning on using the bumper there at the end uh, to try to get Bryce out of the way. But uh, Nate got underneath me. And I, oh, actually, I, I slapped a wall coming out because I was driving in too hard. He got underneath me. And that, that was that's all it took. But uh, congrats to Bryce. His first race with us. Obviously, he showed that. Uh, come over here and, and, and mess with the Chop Shop boy, so we're, we're happy to have him. And uh, Nate did a great job in getting second place. And actually, I'm super happy about John. He did a great job as well. I mean, he got a black flag there towards the tail end of the race, and that hurt his uh, his day. But, man, he was just as fast as we were up there. So uh, good racing. Well, he better not go anywhere. I wanted to, like, shout him out and, like, tell him he did a great job and all the cool stuff that he was doing. But apparently he just Drag him up. Drag him up in here before he left. Oh no, he he's he gone. just he, he went. He, yeah, he, he went to bed. He gone. Um, he gone. Because <laughs> because I I thought I jinxed him. I really did. His 15 laps to go. I was like, I haven't talked about it all race. All right, we're gonna talk about it now. <laughs> and and I said last time he was here in this car and on this track, he won it. I'm looking forward to it. And he's talented enough and shows that showed showed enough that uh, that he was able to do. It. But he did a great job of keeping you. Uh, where you needed to be there as well, where you guys try to work that dynamic together to be able to, because I mean, he would, he would give you a shove similar to what Ryan did early on. He gave you a shove to get you, get you around Nate there and uh, able to carry the, uh, able to carry, carry him the corner where you're able to have a good clearance and have enough speed to, to make that clear without having to basically outdrive yourself. Yeah, it's um, momentum and, and r taking the run at the right time is the most important at this track. And if you have somebody that will work with you, especially on the straightaways, um, you should be able to make that run. And John and uh, Ryan occasionally helped me when he was up there. Um, they were doing a good job. It, basically, what we were trying to do is hope that Bryce would kind of overthink it and, and burn up his stuff while he was up front. So John was just being patient behind me. Um, and then he got mixed up with Nate. And then once, you know, once you get that... Uh, that force him in there. There's no holes barred, so everybody's gonna be pushing hard. But I appreciate John uh, doing his best, trying to keep me up there. Without him, I probably would have fallen back. Uh, like I said, these guys are a little bit faster than me today. But um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for where we finished, um, and you know, I'm happy that I have some teammates out there that that are willing to work with me, especially in uh, pivotal positions like that. It isn't a, it isn't every day John has the capability of. Uh, he does have the capability of winning every week, but you know, he he sometimes he has some bad luck. And uh, even when he's up there, he's willing to help. So I appreciate that. I like it because it's a, uh, um, what, what I, I call it a, the high speed bump and run. That's pretty much what you see a lot here at, at Indy. You're going to go 196 into a corner and you're trying to shove somebody a little bit faster. So that way you can, you know, push them up the racetrack a little bit to drive down. And we, we saw that that was where the success happened for the pass not necessarily for uh, for the driver for the driver that was doing the passing, and not necessarily the driver that was 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 uh, was was the driver trying to try to keep that lane. But air was important. Everything was important tonight. Another top three night. I know points are trying to be are are, are are trying to you're trying to dwindle those points down to Nate when it comes to the the regular season stuff. But uh, tonight a top three night, still a podium finish. I get to talk to you pretty much every week, and uh, this was a ton of fun, man. Give a shout outs. It was a great race. Yeah, that's awesome. It was awesome out there. Uh, I want to uh, say thank you to everybody that showed up today, all the Chop Shop drivers. Everybody did a hell of a job today. I'm real impressed with everybody. Ryan with a uh, – looks like he finished in the top ten. Great job. Tony Saunders. Mike Mata was up there. Chris Roberge. There was a lot of guys. Robert Church was up there. I appreciate uh, him giving me room as well. So I want to make sure that we give shout-outs to these guys because every single one of them is what uh, – they're the ones that make 
these leagues possible, right? Uh, uh, we got a great community, so we want all these good drivers, just like we brought in Bryce today. He's an excellent driver, uh, uh, good guy as well. So um, just want to go ahead and shout out our sponsor, Stay Tuned Sports. Uh, there are poll sponsors. Make sure if you haven't already, sign up and subscribe to their YouTube channel. We got a great podcast, anything sports related. Uh, make sure you talk to uh, Jimbo and uh, King at uh, Stay Tuned Sports. Uh, MCI Graphics, uh, Virtual Velocity Racing, Geomax, Admin Box, Speedy Trophies, The Baller Status Boys, Track Racer, My Three Sons, uh, G2 Gaming, um, Humble Bumble, and then last but not least, Ryan with uh, Chopping It Up. Man does a hell of a job with uh, with the podcast here internally. Uh, we want to make sure that you guys go in there and subscribe and uh, check us out. If you don't know how to get in contact with us, reach out to us at chopshopracing.net and uh, you know uh, or go to signature esports make sure that uh, you uh you find us there and uh, last but not least signature esports we appreciate you jason you do a hell of a job as always week in week out you're the man you're the myth and the legend if you haven't done so already subscribe to signature esports signature esports this man does much more than just i racing he's gaming he's out there all the time he's ambassador to the community make sure you guys subscribe uh like and uh interact with uh, signature esports at uh, signature sports with Jason. So thanks again, everybody. We'll catch you during the week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sunday. And we're going to, we're going to go have a conversation with charter right now. So everybody knows I am recording the interviews, Mike. I was telling, telling the other guys that now, uh, because we had those internet issues. We're still battling those internet issues as we speak. Uh, but the middle portion of this or middle to the late portion of this race, getting all the way down to the end of it was, was really nice. And, uh, we were able to stream that pretty consistently. So I'm going to go and, have a nice little chit chat of what's going on but um if i have to i will make a highlight reel uh as well throw up what we were going on uh, on here up do a little extra work tomorrow since we don't have a stream tomorrow but um yeah tonight was a, a phenomenal race and <laughs> of course i have to have uh uploaded issues or packet loss issues for for the first time and since since we did the upgrade so uh some things you can it happen it's some, the internet some things you can control, some things you can't, but the race was phenomenal. Yeah, racing was good. I mean, uh, don't judge uh, this one broadcast with internet issues as uh, the all-be-all be all, be all, uh, signature always has clean, crispy broadcast 24-7. So make sure you subscribe. You'll be able to see that. Uh, you'll you'll see his gaming streams. And I, you just had a four-year um, yeah. sub subscription. Uh, four-year <laughs> sub. I don't remember the title of it, but, yeah, you know, it was awesome to watch. So. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you do so. It's going to be awesome, Mike. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Going to have some fun. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Love y'all. Catch you guys later. That's Strickland. He comes home, and uh, we'll let him have at it. Uh, phenomenal race. It was a great time. Thank you to those who stuck around and, and went through the, the hiccups with me. We'll get it all fixed. We'll get it all straight straightened out. Uh, let me go over to – got to go over to our Twitch channel. Thank you to all of our uh, – Striker does a really good job with the interviews. He hits all the sponsors, but I want to thank them again, as well as Stay Tuned Sports, again, the poll sitter. Uh, I do have links in the description for all of that. Even on this one, I went ahead and just copied it straight over and made sure it was good. Uh, make sure you check out the Chopping It Up podcast as well. Admin Box, use promo code CHOPSHOP10 uh, to help the, help that league out to, and the, all that extra funding goes right to them. Uh, ChopShopRacing.net, if you want to get a hold of the Chop Shop Racing series, you can go to discord.gg forward slash Chop Shop Racing is going to be the uh, uh, the Discord uh, tag if you want to join them. Uh, week 10 is going to be coming up very soon. Next uh, next week, we're going to have some fun with that. Sunday, you're going to have the SLMs. Uh, super late, or the Super Lates are, 